So the other day I'm on Facebook and I'm seeing what's going on in the world and I make the mistake of looking at the comment section of a particular news story. And in between everybody's incredibly informed opinions, I read a comment that says, if you got Cash App, just message MarieDana1100 on Instagram. She's helping people make money into their Cash App. She is God sent. I got $2,000 now. And I thought, really? Well, let's just hit her up and see how she can help. So I found this Dana chick on Instagram and she looks like a, a very nice lady. So I sent her a DM and I said, I heard you can help others make money with Cash App. And she responded and she said, we will help you make money into your Cash App account. You are about to be financially free depending on you. Because of the pandemic out here, we are gonna help you with $2,000 one-time payment and also put you in a line of payment where you get $300 a month. You receive the money to your Cash App in 15 minutes. Well, this sounds a little too good to be true, but I have to know. So I said, really? We have been doing this helping citizens since a month and a half. Pay out a million and a half now thanks to the government and our sponsors. I'm pretty sure someone told you about us and that's a task for you after you get paid, share with others. Oh, okay, so as long as I go on Facebook and I tell a bunch of other people, like Joyce, I'll get hooked up with some assistance money. Well, Dana continued and said, you are two steps away from getting $2,000 tonight. First, I need to ask you some questions. What is your Cash App tag? What is your financial situation? And I said, Pleasant Green. I have been strapped for cash during the pandemic. And then Dana responds and says, yeah, I have seen people with the same financial situation. You are about to be financially free again. Please hold on till your turn. I'll get back to you soon. Now you are just a step away. And so then a couple of minutes go by and I get a Cash App payment in the amount of $2,000. Or so she would have me think. She just sent me a stupid graphic on Instagram. Yeah, nice Photoshop work, Dana. My Cash App balance is still zero. But she says I need to pay a $200 fee to process the $2,000 payment. So I'm kind of annoyed that this ended up being a scam and I'm even more annoyed that she would target somebody who's in financial trouble. So I just ignore her, which seems to really bother her because she starts trying to get my attention. These girls love it when I play hard to get. But I just keep ignoring her, figuring that she'll just move on eventually. But this goes on for like two weeks and I just think, holy crap, this scammer is desperate. She eventually says, hello, good morning. There is an alternative way for me to make money into your cash app. This way you don't need to pay. Are you ready to make $2,000 into your cash app now? Well, that's interesting. And since I'm really curious to see what this scammer has up their sleeve, I say, okay. Then Dana says, okay, first you need to verify or enable Bitcoin on your cash app. And if you have done that already, then we are good to continue. Then I will sign in to your Cash App and load in Bitcoin from the company's wallet to your Cash App Bitcoin and make the money available in your Cash App balance. So let me get this straight. A scammer wants me to enable Bitcoin in Cash App and then let them have access to my account? I have a bad feeling about this. She asks if I'm verified and I say no. Why do I need Bitcoin? She says, I already explained it to you. I need to load in Bitcoin into your Cash App, at least $2,000 and at most $3,000. Yeah, that doesn't sound weird at all. But I think to myself, I need to find out who I'm dealing with. So I ask if they can just send me Bitcoin through Coinbase. And if you watch my channel, then you know that I have a little trick that I use to locate these scammers. I go to grabify.link and I create a redirect URL to coinbase.com. If the scammer clicks on my redirect, it will capture their IP information telling me exactly where in the world they're located. But Dana doesn't click on it. She just says I can only get this done through Cash App, not Coinbase or elsewhere. I need to follow all procedures closely to get this done. And then I say, well, if you click on that link, you can see my Bitcoin balance. And Dana just can't help herself and she clicks. And you'll be very surprised to know that she is in none other than... Surprise, surprise. She says, nope, I can't see your Bitcoin balance. It redirected me to log in. And I said, oh, let's do a video chat and I can show you. But she says, just make a screenshot. And I say, how come you don't wanna talk? I don't make calls. And I say, is it because it's midnight in Nigeria right now? She says, now WTF are you talking about? And I say, quit being dumb. I know you're in Nigeria. And I sent her a detailed report of her IP address and even what phone she's using. And that's when Dana knows that she's been caught. She says, how did you get this information? And I said, I have a very particular set of skills, skills I've acquired over a very long career, skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. 
I like that. And I said, actually, it's just a quote from the movie Taken, lol. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. I said, I need to hire someone from Nigeria. You looking for work? What do you mean by work together? And then I fell asleep. But in the morning, I woke to some frantic messages. She said, talk to me. And I'm like, oh, hello, I was asleep. We're in different time zones. Cause you know, Nigeria. I said, anyway, here's the deal. I need you to provide some information on how scams work. And then Dana confesses. Turns out it's a kid in Nigeria struggling to get by and he's running this scam to pay for school. He says, if you pay me now, I swear to God almighty, I am gonna give you every information you need. I truly need the money badly. I need to pay my school fees. Ben, I am f***ing serious. Prove to me you are serious. I will do everything you want, I swear. So I text him on WhatsApp and I tell him that I'll pay him what he was trying to get out of me if he just talks to me for an hour. But he wants to be paid up front and I'm like, dude, you just tried to scam me, so no. I'll pay you when we're done. And he doesn't think that I'll really pay him, but the dude's desperate. He's been trying to scam me for two weeks. Also. What's he got to lose? So we start to shoot the bull and he starts to talk about how he needs the money badly because his school fee is closing in days. He's scamming because he can't afford to miss another year of school or he won't graduate. So I asked him where he learned to scam like this and he said, a percentage of Nigeria youths especially scam. You see people buy cars, homes, raise family with scam money. Some people are just lucky. There is no good work here. There are many ways to make it big with scams if you are lucky. And I'm like, have you been lucky? No, I haven't. I get so little compared to some. And I thought to myself, well, you do kind of suck at it. <laughs> I mean, the random comments on Facebook? That's a little strange. I said, so you go around on Facebook pages and you tell people to contact you if they want money? Does that really work? And he said, yes, that's bombing. And that's the real work. If they can message you on Instagram, then you are a step closer. So he's spamming Facebook comments all day? That's gotta get old. So then we talked about his Instagram account that he set up and how he stole a bunch of pictures from a porn star. We talked about the fake payment that he made and what design tools he uses. Finally, I asked him to walk me through what he was planning on doing to me. If I did happen to let him into my Cash App account, what would he do next? And he said, make you log out. That's all. You won't be able to get back to your old account as Cash App will redirect you to a new one. I said, what did you do to cause that? Simple. Once you are out, I remove your Gmail and number. Change cash pin. So this is why they want you to enable Bitcoin, because now the Cash App account is set up to purchase Bitcoin and it's linked to your bank account. And once the scammer is in, they can start buying Bitcoin with your money and then send it to their wallet ID. And Bitcoin is fast. It's not going to sit there in approvals for 48 hours like a bank transfer would. And once it's gone, it's gone. The FBI can't do anything about it. According to them, Bitcoin is not even a real currency. Which leads me to my next question. What do you do with Bitcoin? He says Bitcoin is good money. There are lots of things you can do with Bitcoin. Invest, trade, save, and withdraw. Some people buy Bitcoin at good rates, and thank goodness you can trade Bitcoin to Naira. And so I thought, okay, that's interesting. Who in Nigeria is going to exchange Bitcoin for Naira? Turns out there's an app for that. He told me that most scammers are using the Luno app. This app will take Bitcoin from your wallet and exchange it for Naira. From there, you can easily transfer the cash to your bank. This is really scary. You can literally send thousands of dollars to Nigeria in minutes this way, and nobody in law enforcement can stop it or track it. It's no wonder scammers have completely given up on using Western Union. But it's also kind of cool to think that we finally got ourselves a global currency in Bitcoin that can help us move money across the world in minutes without a middleman taking a cut. He went on to say, I really hate this shit. Please, I really want to be financially free all my life. I have been struggling and it's really tough. And there's no question that it is tough. I feel bad. And this guy did give me the courtesy of spending an hour with me and answering my questions. And he showed me a side of the scam that I hadn't seen before. And now I can share it with all of you and anyone else who might potentially fall for this scam. So I said, let's get you paid. And I sent him a Bitcoin payment of $200. And I must have just blown his mind because a minute later he said, wow, who are you? And I said, I'm Batman. Just kidding. I said, I'm Pleasant Green. Look me up on YouTube and stay in school.
Hey everybody, as you can see, there's a lot of folks out there who would love to gain access to your Cash App or your PayPal account. And that's why you need to take better precaution with your passwords. And Dashlane is an app that will generate strong and complex passwords for every single one of your accounts. And it will save them so you never have to worry about forgetting your password and then having to reset it. They save you time by auto-filling your information so you don't have to spend time on tedious forms. Dashlane also offers dark web monitoring, which allows you to receive alerts if your personal information is found leaked on the dark web, where it may be available to spammers and hackers. Dashlane also has a built-in VPN with country selection, which means that you can access what you want wherever you are as it hides your IP address from prying eyes. Did you notice how I got this guy's info with a single click? Well, big tech loves doing this to you, so don't let them. To make your digital life a priority and head on over to dashlane.com slash pleasantgreen to try out Dashlane on your first device for free. And if you decide to upgrade to Dashlane Premium, use promo code pleasantgreen to get 10% off. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. Be sure to subscribe and stick around for the next adventure in scamming.